everybody. This is Josh Remini here with your Functional RX podcast, and today we are going to talk all things liposomes. This is great because I know absolutely zero about liposomes other than the article that you made me read in Pharmacy Talk. So, so I, I recently wrote, wrote this article uh, for pharmacists to educate them on this thing called Which was written called very liposomes. well. Good for you. Um, Good job. And thank you. I, I put a lot of work into it. And I, I, we're, we're coming up with ideas to talk to people about the importance of nutrients. But in this case, how does it, when, when you swallow something, you swallow a, a nutrient or a drug, uh, it has to get to the tissue where it works, right? So vitamin D or, or any type of medication, right? So vitamins, nutrients all have to go to the source for them to do their job. So we we're, there's new technologies out now that improve uh, the delivery system to the body, which is uh, what we're going to talk about today, which is liposomes. Okay. So what the heck is a liposome? Yes. That was uh, my first question. Thank you. <laughs> liposome is a tiny little fat bubble basically uh so nano size very small particle so you can wrap any water soluble or lipid soluble entity around this little bubble and this bubble is more uh absorbable to the body because the body likes like so if the body's taking something and it thinks it's its own cell membrane so you're basically wrapping fat around a nutrient or drug, because there's drugs that are in liposomal delivery. Chemotherapy is a great example of that. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about the science, but basically it's a little fat bubble uh, that gets absorbed th through the body in different ways. So we get to take something um, that would have poor uh, availability to the body, or what they call bioavailability or absorption, uh, and make it up to five to ten times better for you, or five to ten times more absorbable by using this technology. So we wrap a fat. Sometimes it's soy, but usually people don't do soy anymore. So we we use um, choline as the source. And what happens is our our lipid cell walls are made up of the same fat. So what what happens is so when, rather than it blocking it, it allows it to pass easier. Well, the normal well the normal metabolism of a drug or a, a nutrient, a supplement is you swallow it, right, mm -hmm. and it goes and gets broken down through the enzymes and things like that, and absorbs uh, and goes to the liver, right? And we always say it metabolizes there. So drugs and nutrients all get chewed up by the liver. It's our organ system to to detoxify. So they call that first pass metabolism. It has to pass through the liver first before it gets into the bloodstream. And generally speaking, most things are about 90 to 95% chewed up in the liver before they get to uh, the body. So a lot of people say, well, I'm taking 100 milligrams of vitamin C. They think that's how much is going to the body. But in fact, the body's mechanism is to chew it up and spit it out before it goes to the system. So... In order to bypass that first pass metabolism, you have to go through a different means. You have to go through um, a different method of absorption. So in this case, bypassing and going, not going through the liver, but actually uh, absorbing through the mucosal lining of the cheek or underneath the tongue, and also uh, looking at things that are called lymphatic absorption. So we, we absorb things through the lymphatic system too, which bypasses the liver, and then gets to the tissue where it belongs. So when you use these little fat particles, these little bubbles, if you will, these liposomes wrapped around something, and in this case we're talking nutritional products like vitamin C or um, vitamin B12, vitamin D, anything that's wrapped around these bubbles, it, it the cell wall in the gut thinks it's the cell wall. And so it absorbs that choline fat and wraps it right into... Uh, the system so basically gets to bypass that whole mm. process so it just goes in faster goes in faster and more efficiently so mm. think about think and then what happens to that fat layer it absorbs right into the cell wall because it's a building block for the cell wall so mm. the body likes to absorb it and actually is nutrients for your cells because that's our that's a layer of protection right so we get to bypass all that stuff in the liver uh, which gives that sort of theory uh, in, in, in studies that show it's about five to ten times more absorbable that way. I was going to say, so if you're doing it that way, then technically you would be getting 
not 100%, you're never probably going to get 100%, but you're getting a lot higher percentage of absorption, so generally you won't have to take quite as high of a dosage. Perhaps, or you get better clinical results, right? Okay. So it's not always apples to apples, um, but in theory, you could give less and get a better result, and I see that a lot in the clinic. Um, we had talked uh, not so long ago about CBD and mm-hmm. its importance and all that. We use a liposomal CBD uh, at the store, uh, and that's exactly how I've seen it, is I get to use much less of the product I mean, milligram-wise and achieve a better clinical result with it, mm-hmm. which is phenomenal. Uh, so it's it's increased uptake into the cells. Um, also, it protects the nutrient from the harsh environment of the gut too right everything's acidic down there the, mm. the gut's design is to to break things apart and when you have these little fat bubbles they're really just protected little spheres um i just so, like in my brain i'm just thinking of like your little nutrient is bubble boy and it's just like floating down the world and it's just protected because it's got a little bubble around it and well, it's you, like bubble boy well, and you, you just think where you like those little cartoons and commercials where they <laughs> they shrink you down and they go through the system well you can just kind of imagine that you know these liposomes are formulated in a way um that does just that it goes right to the the place where it, this is what well, this is how this technology came about is because they used it in chemotherapy and it would mm-hmm. go directly to the cancer cells in a more efficient way or it would look uh it would be protected from the degradation by the body so in this case that bioavailability or absorption is increased Mm. uh, which makes it a win-win-win second reason i use or another reason why i use liposomes when i can and it's more expensive right it's hard to make these things in a proper way there's a whole list of things on the the blog and the, the the paper i wrote about why it's not just you know putting choline in the bottle with the nutrient shaking it up like chocolate milk there's there's a science behind it you have to shear it, it has to be a very tiny particle size hmm. think about how big a bubble is is it a beach ball or a bb right our, our bodies don't absorb big things either so you have to get that particle size down to you know 100 nanometers or, or a little bit more all that means is it's got to be nano-sized particles. So you got to make the particles tiny before you can wrap it around and shear this type of fat into it. So there's a whole hmm. mechanism behind the manufacturing. But for today, you just got to know if you get the right kind of product, which you do get with me. You know, I get to vet the process for everybody. I always say best on the planet for the price. Mm-hmm. Um, all of that's vetted for me. The other thing um, for for using nutritional products um, or CBD is in a liposome is if a, if a molecule is absorbed by the, the gut and goes through that first pass metabolism to the liver, well, that's where everything interacts. So that's where we get drug-drug interactions, right? That's where pharmacists talk to patients about, you know, drugs interacting because they're all either, you know, slowing down or speeding up metabolism in in the gut they call them cytochrome enzymes well nutritional products go through that same pathway so there's drug nutrient interactions as well Mm. so if i use a liposome and it goes through the lymphatic system to get absorbed i get to bypass all those potential interactions that those nutrients are having with with metabolism of drugs and all those types of things which is a good reason why i use it for cbd for sure Interesting. It was very interesting. So basically what you're able to do is, you know, you're able to be more efficient, you're able to absorb better, and you're able to absorb quicker through using this method. Now, is there any kind of negatives to to using a liposomal approach to distributing your medicine? Well, generally they're they're in gel caps, but most of the time the ones we use are liquids because it's easier to dose them and it's easier to, you know, use the liquid form of the liposomes. Um, if they're not made properly, there's definitely some repercussions. That's why we have to use certain manufacturers that, that, that specialize in liposomes because mm-hmm. uh, stability could be a problem. It can come out of that liposome really quickly. So we use things that are, that are tested to be stable and used for that nature. Um, I think of all the advantages. I don't really know if there's any disadvantages to using a liposome besides uh, being careful with how much you use right if you're gonna 
be able to predict higher absorption rates, you don't want to go apples to apples all right. the time. So you need a qualified professional to kind of tell you how to steer so that. Google's type of not going to teach me how to use this. Google Doc. Google Doc is a uh, is a fun thing. You'll find whatever you want, right? <laughs> so if you Google the, your opinion, it's going to go. Oh, are liposomes bad? And are they de- deadly or anything like that? I don't know if they're going to see gonna, that. It's going to cause cancer. Everything yeah. causes cancer if you or, Dr. or Google makes it. you fat, right? So well, gonna... I think that's true for me right now. So, um, so it, it's a novel approach for certain nutritional products, especially the ones that are poorly absorbed, like right. vitamin C. Glutathione's a great example. CBD, you know, I, I I keep telling people that that's the reason I use my CBD in the liposomes because it's 95% chewed up the other way. So regardless of full spectrum and all that other stuff we talked about, but liposomal is the way to go because you can get a really good result. My only thought or my only, uh, you know, way that I can understand this is back in a previous life, I worked for a, a company that sold three products, three supplements, fish oil, vitamin D, and uh, magnesium. And the vitamin D was unique to this company because they put uh, coconut oil in it. And so they put a fat with the vitamin D and it helped with you know absorption and stuff like that, or so they claim. That's what they taught us at least. Um, but it's kind of the same philosophy of you know to have a fat pair with your your uh, supplement to help it be absorbed better in the body and more efficient. Yeah, and and using the technology around the liposomal piece is sort of that added piece because right. a lot of co- supplement companies will add coconut oil or MCT mm-hmm. oil or some oil to it, yeah. but it's an emulsion, right? It's yeah. it's a fat. That's soluble. the way they can do it for a cheaper. So I say it's yeah. chocolate milk. Right, right you got to right. shake it up before you use it. Right. Um, theory is behind. Uh, any lipid soluble vitamin like vitamin d is if you take it with fat it it absorbs well right so that's why you tell people to eat when you take certain vitamins because you're going to ultimately get the fat anyway so sometimes it's a marketing thing and sometimes it's it is a a professional grade kind of thing where in this case this technology is beyond what you just said and talked about that's next level so utilizing and so you're gonna people are gonna start seeing this because this is kind of the new so this is relatively new technology and idea being utilized in the supplement world for sure so the liposomes have been around since the 60s and they're utilized in specific types of um, chemotherapy and drug delivery systems and now that technology is pairing with science and we're catching up that so we kind of extrapolated the theory into delivery of nutrients now and we're able to do it cheaper and more effectively because of the you know technology and science yeah the the company that i work with uh that makes our dilworth vitamins they do all the liposomes too is uh they've they've paired their vision for nutrition along with their 39 years experience and created you know i would call this a niche market but for sure it's it's an efficacy thing for sure so at the pharmacy, have you had anybody that was doing more of a generic supplement or taking more of a generic supplement or, or prescription and then just switched over to this liposomal? Have they, what were their results? You know, were they taking a, I'm just going to use fish oil, were they using a thousand milligrams of fish oil of the normal stuff and then they took a liposomal fish oil and took a thousand milligrams that just had completely yeah, different I've, effects? Yeah, I've seen... Uh, Lots of folks, especially in the CBD world, because people, um, and the only reason I say that is because I, I, when they come to me and they get educated and we do our consults with them, we screen through certain things. And a lot of people have been on certain CBDs that are just, you know, what we had taught is like the chocolate milk stuff. Pick it up at the gas station or wherever they're getting it. Even the, even the, you know, um, well-known brands and stuff and i'll switch them over i'll say hey try this liposomal and literally you see their transformational Hmm. like oh my gosh this is so much better because it's kind of hard to kind of say well is that vitamin c kicking in you know yeah um i don't know if i have any uh liposomal fish oil that's a great question um we're looking to expand the line uh with the vitamin company i just always speak of fish oil because it's the only one that i really like Take well, I time. think that's more like a macronutrient. You know, people need so much of it that you just kind of have to get as much as you right. need gram doses yeah. of it, right? 
It's always my go-to uh, yes. theoretical when in doubt, analogy. Fish oil, right? <laughs> um, it's great for everything. We could do a whole talk on fish oil and all the the things that are it's good for. Things that are poorly absorbed, like again, or things that are difficult to absorb, um, are generally good targets for for uh, liposomal. We have a vitamin D. Uh, vitamin B12 because that's a really hard one to absorb. I was going to say vitamin D. You hear a lot of vitamin B12, especially in women. Like my, both my wife and my mom, both are deficient both of those supplements, and so they need to try a better quality one. And well, I wonder the, where they could get that. Well, <laughs> right. Um, shameless plug, right? <laughs> For Dilworth Drug and Wellness Center on East Boulevard. Um, the B12 is a great example because people use it. Uh, it's known to be poorly absorbed in the gut like there's certain factors that have to play in the gut for it to be absorbed so people don't get a very big clinical result when they've got deficiencies so if they're low b12 energy stores are low um, things of that nature i've shifted them to the liposomal and i get i get results more in line with injectable than i would an oral so it's, mm. it's, it's not quite as high as injectable because a lot of people take B12 injections, mm -hmm. but I can get it almost to the acceptable levels uh, without using uh, a liposome, without using an injectable. Because a lot of people shift, they, they take the, a supplement and they get failure and then they go right to the injectable. So it's kind of like my staged in. Because I'd rather put it under your tongue for 30 seconds right. and swallow than to inject yourself twice right. a week, right? Well, what? Uh... You know, aside from supplements and pharmacy, what have you been up to? How's your how's your uh, fitness and health? Uh, lacking. I'm just. Uh, you got a Peloton. Have you used it? I did. I do. Um, Who's your favorite instructor? I don't have one. Oh I come have, on! I'm playing around with it right now. <laughs> um, no, I literally, I was, I, I've been recovering from a summer flu, and it it pretty much destroyed me for almost four days i was in bed for 30 hours for in two days it's one way to lose weight but that's not a good way yeah I, I did i lost five pounds um which is good it got me back in, in shape if you will um so between that and my wife getting it and taking care of her and then uh dog having his surgery on his leg uh had an acl and meniscus uh, mm. repair uh and surgery so I've got Frank and Doug down the down the road there. Um, we are we're kind of we're kind of burnt out here at the Rimini family, trying to just recuperate. Uh, looking forward to getting back to that groove again. But you guys are probably still eating great. We always try. It took it was tough when you have the flu. You're like, just give me anything. anything. I just like no. So I I got off my gluten free kick for a week. So uh -oh. I'll be back gluten free for sure. All right, we're gonna hold you to it. Got to, got to walk the walk, right? There you go.